Hello everyone, Abby here with Purple Cottage Craft. Sorry if I'm talking kind of quiet. There's some people around me. So this is the fabric section, as you can tell, um, from Walmart. So this is kind of the, all these tags that say new. These are not um, little uh, yard packs that I've ever seen before. So I think that's really cool. I'm trying to go slow, sorry guys. So they kind of have them separated by um, color family. I thought my phone, looks like my phone's trying to zoom in too close. Sorry about that. So they have all that. I'll show you some of the ones. Ooh, I'm going to get that blue one up there, too. I will do, like, a little haul video um, of all of the little fabric bits that I've been purchasing from this trip and my um, next, or my last trip I did. So I'm just going to be quiet for a second and let you just kind of look. I'm going to pause it and I will show you the other section in just a second. Oh, look at that beautiful one there too. Be right back. Okay, so here's the other section. I just moved down a little bit. I just kind of want to show it to you a little bit slower than what I did the first time. Try not to make you dizzy. So it goes down there. Um, now some of these fabrics are, you know, like the packs are like $3.97, $2.97, $4.97, $97 and $5.97. I'm not sure if that's for one yard of fabric. It's some of the ones I really, really like are five, uh, like, what, how much are they? Uh, $5.44 a piece. And that seems kind of pricey to me, but I'm not, you know, I'm not a seamstress, so I don't like make clothes or anything. I just buy fabric to, you know, craft with, make books and, you know, coffee dye and all that kind of fun stuff. So just probably just a few I'm going to take today. There's about 15 I want, but I don't want to spend that much money on fabric right now. So um, I will just behave <laughs> and just buy a few of them right now. So because working on doing my video, my craft room. So I've got some really cool vintage pieces I've already acquired to put in my room. And there's a couple more I'm kind of on the hunt for. So just want to kind of do a little bit. So I just wanted to show you, oh, let me throw behind me here. This too, right here, these Waverly Inspirations. These were not at the Walmarts in Florida. Well, the two years we were there anyway. You can see, I had, these are how many, let me see. Let me pull one out so we can look at the front of it. Oops, that's the back side. Ah, I'm trying to pull one out, let's do up here. Okay, so this, these are two yard, these are bolts of two yards and they are $7.94. Looks like they're all that price. Yeah, these all say $7.94. So that thing is just really, really cool, especially for somebody like me who just usually gets one to two yards um, of fabric to use for a project. And I don't have to wait for somebody to come over because um, that sounds like I'm being impatient. I'm not. It's just sometimes at Hobby Lobby and Joann's and stuff, you have a hard time um, finding somebody to help you. So to cut fabric anyway, they're usually pretty busy. So all right, I'm going to pause it. I think this might be the end of it actually, but I'm going to pause it just in case that we have one video to put up on my channel from my phone versus trying to piece it together. So um, I might be back, but if not, happy scrapping, happy planning, happy crafting. And I will be doing a video of what I found on this trip and the last trip um, regarding fabric and some kind of home decor. So I will see you either in the next video or back if I find something else really cool to share with you. And a few more over here. I don't think I filmed cut closely. So sorry, there's people that there's employees right behind me. So apologize for any loudness. So I'm going to go back down here, kind of show you the, um, the section down here. This is absolutely beautiful, these two. I think I'm going to, um, I'm not sure. This is so, so pretty. This would be, be I mean, it's beautiful, and I will get some. I'm not sure if I want to pick it up right now. So I'm trying to think of the projects that I have in progress, because I packed those up in separate totes when we made the move back home, so I could get to them easily. So um, I'm not working on any tomes that with this color would match with. So I think I'm going to wait on that one. I'm not a real huge yellow fan, like, on anything. But I think this is really pretty. This would be so pretty in, like, a tea um, book or really, really pretty. So I might come back and get that one, too. We'll see. We shall see. So I'm just kind of weeding through. This would go great with the Graphic 45 um, French Country paper uh, collection. 
which is, you, you know, it's an old one. I'm not sure if they've retired it yet or not, but I love it. That'd be really pretty in small bits. <laughs> that's, a, that's a lot of yellow for me still, but, um, and these down here, these look like Mary Inglebright. Do you guys, ladies, excuse me, ladies and gents know um, who I'm talking about? I had a, a, co a fellow nurse at a clinic where I used to work years ago, and um, we each got to decorate a couple of the exam rooms. So she was a huge Mary Inglebright person. So that when I see things like this, that's what it reminds me of. So anyway, okay. Oh, this one's really pretty too. I did. Yeah, I grabbed this one. Um, there's a, like a, just a hint of teal in that to me, so I'm going to probably use that for one of my um, Tan Awareness Week um, craft series that I do. And this would be kind of cool too because I'm working on a, a vintage nautical tome. Now this is pretty bright as far as the colors, but I could definitely, um, you know, tone this down by either coffee dyeing or tea dyeing or doing some different sprays, sprays on them and things like that. So I think I'll come back for that one. Um, possibly I might just finish up that tone without that bit of fabric because I have some other items I found too so I kind of go a little bit crazy when I'm in, <laughs> in the stores I'm sure I'm not alone with by that um let's see these are also something I had not seen before Waverly is like really um stepping up their game as far as like having some really good packaging and price points for smaller bits so this is all three yards for this tool I have enough of tool to probably last me five lifetimes and here's some um uh, let's see, fabric cut carnation lace. So it's 309 for one and a half yards of that. And that one too. Let's see. This one is poly interlock. And I would never use this for anything for me, but I wanted to share it with you. Um, since, again, this is something I have not seen in uh, Walmart's, at least the you know, ones I, I've been to. So. But anyway, I think that's going to be it, you guys. Oh, there might be something on another aisle. So I'll probably pause you for a second and we'll go take a peek. Uh, take a peek. Okay, so I, I did share this in my um, first video with the um, value cuts. Let's see. Fabric um, packages from Walmart. Michelle told me that when she was, I watched that first video I did. She was like, I'll take that one. I'll take that one. I'll take that one. So I'm trying to behave myself. I bought one of these. You'll see my whole haul once I get home. Probably later today or maybe tomorrow morning, one of the two. We'll see how the rest of my day goes. But um, just kind of picking through here. I think a lot of this is stuff I already had seen when I came back here. Now, I wanted to buy all of these, but I only bought two. I have a really cool um, uh, craft room decor piece I'm going to use. And these here, this is also something I have not seen before. The um, poly cotton fabric cuts. And these are by, I'm trying to see who these who these are by. Oh, um, this one says Shason. I Shason. I'm not sure you say that. These are by who? Let's take a peek. See. Um. Yeah. So there's info on that. But um, this is great too because, like I said, some I don't need like you know yards and yards of fabric. And if you already have it ready to go, this is a great idea. So um, here we have some of Star Wars and Marvel comics. I'm gonna take a picture just because one of my um, crafty friends in real life, she's a huge Marvel comic person. So just give me one sec while I take a picture real quick. Okay, so I'm down here. Oh, these are cute for like little kid stuff. I'm excited to do some crafting and stuff with Kyron uh, when he gets bigger. He's 18 months, so he probably would not <laughs> understand to do some, some different crafting and stuff. I mean, there's, there's, there's little crafty things I found on Pinterest he and I can do now. Um, Harry Potter, this is really cool. Um, I love Harry Potter. When we lived in Florida. We went to um, Universal and we went to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. And Steve and I both got uh, wands. I got um, Hermione. So it was really cool. So that was a lot of fun. I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure if I would have a craft with something like this unless I got this to use in my junk journal to kind of remember that, that trip we went to um, Universal. So. All right, guys, I think that is all. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this little video up. And I will, oh, I didn't see these. Down here are two yards. Sorry. Just now saw those. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get this uploaded, and I will talk with you soon. So happy scrapping, happy planning, happy crafting, and happy shopping. Bye, guys.